Hi guys, my name is Khushbu and welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question candy. There are n children standing in a line. Each child is assigned a rating value given in an integer array ratings. You are given candies to these children subjected to the following requirements. The first one is that each child must have at least one candy. And the second one is that children with higher rating gets more candies than their neighbor. Return the minimum number of candies you need to have to distribute the candies to the children. So here you are given two examples. In the example one, the ratings are 1, 0 and 2. So the candies that you can allocate over here are two candies to the first child because it has a higher rating than its neighbor and its neighbor will get one candy because it has lower rating than both of its neighbors. Similarly, the third child will get two candies because its rating is higher than the neighbor. So the total number of candies become two plus one plus two, which is five. Similarly, for example, two. Here are some constraints that are given to us. And so now let's see how we can solve this question. So I've made up an array which has these rankings. And now I need to find the number of candies I require to distribute amongst these children. The first thing that we need to keep in mind is the rule that each child should have at least one candy. And the second rule states that the children with higher rating will get more candies than its neighbors, including both left and right. So by default, each and every child must have at least one candy. And now we need to see the neighboring values in order to find the number of candies a person will get. So let's take the left value. For this, we are going to compare the ranking for the current child with its left neighbor. And so in order to do so, we'll start from the first index. And by default for the zeroth person, we'll add one. Now, when we compare this three with five, we see that the current child have lower rating than its left neighbor. And so we can give him one candy. Similarly, with the next one, since two is less than three, there is no need to give more candies to this person and we can only give him one candy. Similarly with this one. Now, when we come to this child, we see that it has a higher rating than its left neighbor. And so we need to give him or her more candies. We'll just add one additional candy from the candy that this person has got. So it becomes one plus one, which is two. Similarly, when we go to this person with six as a ranking, we know that this person has a rank higher than its left neighbor. And so we need to give him comparatively more candies than the person with ranking two. So we give one more additional candy to this child. Next, we go for five. And since this five is less than six, we do not need to follow the rule of giving more candies. We can just give the person one single candy. Similarly with four and four. And now with seven, as this is higher than four, we give this person one extra candy compared to the candies with person next to him. So here are the candies that we need to give if we are taking the left neighbor into consideration. Now we need to do the same considering the right neighbor also. And so what we are going to do is we are going to follow the same. So we'll start with second last person and we'll find how many candies that person should get if we are considering the right neighbor. So over here we'll give one candy as a default candy to the last person and calculate the candies we need to give to all other children. So as over here four is less than seven, we just give one candy to this child. Similarly with this one too. Now five is greater than four. And so we need to give an extra candy to this person from the number of candies the right neighbor has. And so we do one plus one, which is two. Similarly with this one. Now since two is less than six, we give one candy to this child. Similarly, we fill the array till the end. And now we have two arrays, the one respect to left and the other with respect to right. Now, what is the number of candies that we actually need to give? That would be the maximum number of candy when we take into consideration of the left and the right. So that would give me this array, which is 
max of left comma right so over here four and one so it should have four candies if he has four candies he'll obviously have one candy so we need to give him or her four and similarly with others and the total for this becomes 21. So for this approach we are going to iterate over our array once from the front and second times from the back and we need to store the candies that a person should get with respect to its left and right neighbors and finally we can combine the result to find the actual answer. So let's go ahead and code this one out and then we'll see a more optimized version for this particular problem. So the first thing that I need is initialize the candies and the second thing that I need is two arrays that would be storing the left and the right values. And now let's fill these arrays with the default value that is 1. And now we'll start looping for left and right. So let's start with the left one. So we'll start with i equal to 1 and we'll go till n. Over here we check if the current index rating is greater than the previous give more candies or an extra candy. So, we give one extra candy. Otherwise, we just give that person a single candy. As the array is already filled with one, we do not need to do anything but move ahead. Similarly, we'll do for the right part also. And over here, we are going to compare it with the value i plus 1. And finally, merge both the sides. So, in order to take the candies, we want to take the maximum of the value in my left and the right array. And so, I'll take math.max of left of i and right of i. Finally, return the candies. So, let's run this code. And we are getting a perfect result. Let's submit this. And it got submitted. The time complexity over here will be O of n for each and every loop. And so the final time complexity is also O of n. The space complexity over here is also O of n because we are taking two arrays of length n with us. Now, how do we optimize this? One of the optimizations over here is removing one of the array and playing with just one array with us because in the second array we will only need the previous value and we can take the left value and update the same left array instead of having the right array. Finally we can just do a sum on the array that we have. So I am not going to show this particular solution over here but rather let's move on to eliminate the space completely. That is, let's go ahead with O of 1 solution. So, here is the graphical representation I have shown for the rankings that we have. So, over here, the first one has a ranking of 5, then 3, 2, 1. And we see that this is going up and down and forming a mountain. And if you see the total number of candies a person is going to get, that is also going to go in a mountain. That is, the person with ranking 5 will get 4 candies, then the third, then this one will get 3 candies and so on. So this has a relation with it. And so we can use this relation to solve this problem in O of 1 space. We are going to divide this into different parts. How we are going to divide this? We are going to divide this into mountains. So if you see that this is a part of first mountain and this is a part of second mountain, this is a plateau and this is another mountain that is starting. So we are going to divide this into mountain and we are going to calculate for each and every mountain. If you see over here till this particular one, the number of candies that we are going to give to a person is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is sum of n that is n number of points that are falling on that particular slope. So for that we are going to find the points 
that a particular side of a mountain is going to have that is the slope of the downward trend and the upward trends. So we will have two variables that will store the number of points which are going upwards, the number of points which are going downwards and this will in turn give us our result. So over here we have divided this mountain around this 2 and 1. Why are we not considering this one? Because this one is going to be considered in the next mountain. And so we are not considering it in the first one. So if we start from 4, there is one point which is going down, the second point that is going down and the third point that is going down. So for this part, we have three down points and there is no up point for this particular mountain because this is half of the mountain. Secondly, when we go over here, we have one and two up points and one and two down points. Then there is a flat plateau and then there is one up point that we have. Now, how do we calculate the result? For calculating this result, so when we are encountering another mountain, that is when we are going from down to up or when we are going to a flat plateau at that time we will say that we are dividing the mountains and we will calculate the number of candies in the previous mountain so over here as we had three down points so we will calculate the number of candies so this becomes 4 plus 3 plus 2 which is in turn 6 plus 3 which gives us 9 next we go to this mountain and over here also we have two up and two down points and the formula is doing the sum of numbers till 1 to n for up, 1 to n for down plus the maximum number of points we have in either up or down. So that gives us 8 for this particular mountain and now what we have is a flat plateau and so what we do in such case is any which ways the person is going to get one single candy so this gets one candy and the next thing that we have is this last mountain so over here we are, what we are going to have is we are going to have one up so that becomes this one point and now the second point is the maximum plus one for this peak because this is the highest one so that gives us 1 plus 1 and that gives us 3 candies for these two people. If we sum it up, we get our desired output which is 21. So that was the slope method to find out the number of candies that we need to distribute amongst the people with the given rankings. So let's go ahead and code it out and while coding it out, we'll see in detail how the conditions work. So let's write the initial condition. And now we'll take some variables. So we'll take a variable up, down, and we'll take the variable for slope. So we'll have a previous slope, which will be zero, and we'll also have candies. Now we'll start looping on the array. We'll start with i equal to one, and in here we'll calculate the slope. For calculating the slope, we are not actually going to calculate this mathematical slope, but we are just going to assign a value negative, positive and zero for the increasing, decreasing and plane slopes. So increasing slope becomes one, decreasing slope becomes minus one and plateau or the plane part becomes zero. So let's find out, we'll take a current slope variable and we'll write the condition based on the previous and current value. So here comes the condition stating that if the rating of i is greater than the previous one, we take the slope as 1. If it is less than the previous one, we take the value as minus one or otherwise we take it as zero. Now comes the part of dividing the mountains. So we'll divide the mountain on three conditions. That is, if we are getting a mountain like 
this that is the slope was decreasing and then increasing or if it was something like this that is decreasing and then a plane or if it was increasing and then a plane that is this condition in these cases we are going to divide the mountain so let's write those conditions so these become the three conditions previous slope is less than 0 current slope is either greater than 0 or equal to 0 and previous slope is greater than 0 and the current slope is 0 so in this condition we are going to find the answer and change our up and down to 0 so we update the candies and we do sum of numbers from 1 to n where n is my up sum of numbers from 1 to down and we'll add maximum of up and down for this we need the sum method so let's write that out and that's the sum method that is n into n plus 1 by 2 which gives the sum of 1 to n with this we do up equal to 0 down equal to 0 that is we reset the mountain parameters now we need to write the conditions wherein we are going to increase the up or down values so if the current slope is greater than 0 then we do a up plus plus else if current slope is less than 0 we do down plus plus else we just do candies plus plus because we have got a plane surface wherein we have to give one candy to that particular child once we have done this we need to assign previous slope equal to current slope in order to go into the next iteration finally when we come out of this loop we again need to add the candies that are there for the last mountain and over here we do max of up comma down plus one while doing sum of up plus sum of down finally just return the candies and we are done let's try to run this and we are getting a perfect result let's submit this and it got submitted so the time complexity for this particular approach is o of n and the space complexity over here becomes o of 1 because we are not using any extra array or anything else so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one so till then keep learning keep coding